So this is a basic setup of how to measure the resistivity of a wire. And equi effectively the equipment you need is you need an ammeter, uh, you need a voltmeter, you need some kind of power supply which goes up to about 6 volts, so nothing massive. Uh, you've then got a couple of crocodile clips uh, on the end of another couple of leads. And between the two crocodile clips is where you have your sample of wire. Now often uh, in the lab we use Constantin. And uh, you know this is about maybe 0.25 of a millimetre thick, so sort of relatively thick. And uh, you've got maybe up to about a metre of the wire. And that's what you're going to be testing. You're going to be measuring the resistance of that in order to work out the resistivity of Constantin. Now you should recall uh, that resistivity is equal to Ra over L. And therefore there are some measurements that you need to take. Um, we're going to be using the ammeter and the voltmeter uh, to calculate our resistance. We're going to be measuring the length of the wire using a meter ruler to find out the length. And to find out the area, the cross-sectional area of that wire, you need to measure the diameter. So when you measure the diameter, you need to do it in at least three different places using a kind of, kind of a micrometer or vernier calipers. You get this um, uh, measurement, which is going to be very, very small. You make sure you convert it to meters. And then you should remember that the area is equal to pi r squared or pi d squared over 4. So uh, actually, when it comes to doing the experiment, what you need to do is you need to vary the length of wire and you can go from about 10 centimetres all the way up to about a metre. So what you're going to do, you're going to vary the value of L that uh, you measure in metres. Um, when you do that, what you need to do is also you need to adjust the power supply so that you have about approximately the same kind of current flowing through the wire. You know, something, uh, you know, nothing massive, maybe about 0.5 of an amp. So you're going to be measuring the uh, current um, going through this uh, in amps you can measure the potential difference across the end of the wire in volts. And then you can use these two things together, remembering that um, V over I is equal to R, to work out the resistance of that piece of wire in ohms. Now, resistivity does depend upon the temperature of that material. And therefore, what you need to do is you just close the switch for a very short amount of time, you take your readings, and then you open the switch again. This stops too much current flowing that circuit. Uh, again, it's going to have a fairly low resistance and therefore it's going to heat up quite a lot. So you want to kind of uh, take your readings uh, and then open a circuit and that means the wire doesn't get too hot so it should have a, a, the same kind of resistivity for the whole time. What you can then do is you can plot a graph of L against R. So here we have a graph of R and L and it shouldn't come as any surprise that when you have a longer piece of wire the resistance is going to increase. This means then that the gradient uh, is going to be equal to R over L, and that really then allows you to work out the resistivity. Remember that resistivity equals RA over L, and that means then that the resistivity rho is going to be equal to your gradient, which is R over L, multiplied by the area that you've worked out when you measured the diameter of that wire. So once you get the gradient, you just multiply it by the area and you should get a value for the resistivity of Constantin. And the value that you should be going for, uh, you know, if everything goes right, um, if we look at what the resistivity of Constantin is, um, it's about 4.9 times 10 to the minus 7 ohm metres. So a very, very small number. But that's effectively because resistivity is a bit like if you had a cubic metre of this stuff, um, what would be the resistance of that block of material? So um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, a quite nice, straightforward, practical, you know, get your six results, take some repeat readings, uh, use that to plot a good graph on a, on a good sized piece of paper, work out the gradient, and then use that gradient and the area to work out the resistivity of this constant in wire. Thank you.